got the faux cardboard. Just lay your picture on top and make sure that you have chosen the right size. Okay, so to start, we just push the picture forward and we peel off this bottom row, just the top one. So we peel it off and then we get our picture. And we've got to line it up with the frame of the cardboard. Okay, so once it's in line, gently press down. Now we're going to pull the picture towards us and just let it fall over the bench. Try not to crush it. And then we're going to remove these three stickers. Okay, so gently pick it up, get your roller, and just gently roll it down over the tape. A couple of rolls. Then we need to flip the picture upside down and fold it along the creases. So we do the first fold, second fold, Third. and we pop these little pieces up and it says here when we remove the tape to put a thin line of glue along the top so remove the tape get your glue Oops. you only need a thin line it's just to help with the, the double sided tape and then you fold it to the first crease, fold it over and gently push it down. I always get my thumb and just rub it along these two little bits. And then so that we don't scratch the faux or the picture, pick it up and gently turn it around. And we do the folding again on this side. Just with the corners, tuck it in with your finger and just gently push with your thumb so that it makes a nice clean edge. Hold your foot in and again and pop out your little tabs and again we've got to pull the tape off and then put a thin line of glue on. So only a thin line. You can also put two dollops on these tabs too. It wouldn't hurt to give it a little bit extra. Fold it down. Gently press with your thumb. Okay, pick it up, turn it around and do the same. So fold it, push your corners in. I hope you can see that. That crease. Uh, pop your tabs out and fold that. And again, we take our tape off. Thin line of glue. And then we fold it again. Making sure that your corners are tucking in as well. Push down with your thumb. Always pick up and turn, otherwise if you just drag it you might actually scratch the picture. Tuck your tabs in, gently press along the side of the cardboard just to give them a nice crease. Second fold, third tabs and again we do a thin line of glue so remove your tape your glue and gently fold it in making sure that your corners are also going in as well and they will do that easily if you've already helped like crease them or clean 
Okay, so that's that bit done. So then we turn it around, we get our stapler. And we line the box up. It's not so much the line on the picture, but the actual cardboard itself. We only need two staples. So one in the top, one in the bottom. Same. Only two staples. Round, line up your cardboard, make sure your corners are tucked in, and staple. Last corner. Okay, so once that's done, then we get our sticky corners. I do two at a time, but you might just want to peel off one at a time. Totally up to you. And that's just to cover the staples, just so that it looks nice and it's not going to scratch the customer's wall. So we just try and put it over the little white triangle that's already there. Press it down with our thumbs. Okay, two more. Last. Okay. Once that's done, we get our insert, which is in the same box as the top part. Fold down the edges. Get your glue, and then you just put a dollop of glue on each tab inside the box. Okay. And once that's done, we just place the insert in there and push it down. Sometimes I get something heavy just to put on the side. I found like a ream of paper is great. And just put it to the side maybe for five or ten minutes and that will, will latch on with the glue. And there you have it. That's your faux canvas. Sides all done, all neat, folded in.